day 11 and we shall finish the distance break today. In this walkthrough part, we have four parts we have to get. It's the UV lamp, the uh, something, the something, the number two ionium jet. No, it's the UV lamp, the something, the number two ionium jet, and the Cronus reactor. Now let's go. So I'm gonna go for the Cronus reactor first, and I believe it needs like 10 Pikmin and 15 Max, and we need yellows. And the maze is, there's a little maze to get to it, and it's really stupid in my opinion, but we have to do it. So I'll have to brave through it. Hopefully at least 15 should be the mini minimum, but I believe it's actually the max. Like I think, like I believe it's 10 and then 15 is the max. It's, it's right over there at the top of this thing. It's on top of that steep slope over there. But I don't want to dilly-dally at all on this day. Alright. Actually, being zoomed out would make this worse. Okay. Oh my gosh, my controller just got stuck. No. My controller just got stuck. That was funky. So, uh, let's get back up there. Okay, darn, they kind of went into that alcove. I didn't want them to. Alright, there we go. We're right here. We made it. I found my UV lamp! The only problem with this handheld light is that it can be too bright at times. I have to remember to wear my sun visor when I look into it. Why would you look into it in the first place? There we go. Now for the next ship part, um... Okay. I'm gonna get out. Actually, gonna need about like 80 blues or so. Most of them we're actually not gonna need today, I just realized. So, hang on, 80. I'll keep them all, just in case, you never know. There we go. Now, let's flower these mins. The mins. Just one more. There's one bud in the group. It's just a bud. What harm is it gonna do? Where am I going to go? I'm gonna disappear. No, I'm just kidding. Alright, let's go. This handy light is great for tanning, but it doesn't seem to have any relation to the Dolphin's flight capabilities. I doubt that it will affect my escape from this planet. Perhaps there are other parts like this as well. Yes, there are five parts that you do not need, one of which is the last part, so luckily. Because, I mean, it, it wouldn't make sense if there were five optional parts, but one of them was the one at the last area, but the one at the last area was required, then there'd be no point with the optional parts. So yeah, the one in the last area is optional, but it actually has a role, a slight role in Pikmin 2, which you'll see later. <sighs> Alright, so let's go. Although it wasn't necessary to turn them all into flowers, really. That kind of just occurred to me. No, I knew he was going to do that. Okay, I'm going to try and kill these water dumples as Olimar alone, but they're really annoying. They get slightly easier in Pikmin 2. Okay, maybe that wasn't the smartest decision in the world. Maybe if there's only one of them left, I'll come and fight it with my Pikmin. I really just don't want to risk losing any Pikmin to something as simple as water dumples. Yes, these guys, they're basically like dwarf bulborbs. They're actually in the same family as adult bulborbs. Not, remember, dwarf bulborbs are bread bugs, so they're not in the same family. Wow, when they were facing opposite directions, that was just... Okay, there. Only a few more of those that we actually have to get rid of. Okay, so let's see. I'm actually not going to do this puzzle yet. I'm going to get these Pokemon... Pick I just said Pokemon. Okay, so let's get these Pikmin over here. I'm going to want to throw 25 or so up there, but I'm going to throw 30. Alright, come on. Failing at this. See, you don't want to immediately touch the edge with the, the catch. And 
throwing Pikmin up on a ledge, you don't want to touch the ledge. Wow, perfect. That's exactly how many said I wanted to get up there. Okay, so let's go over here and just throw your Pikmin across the gap. Yeah, I think it only needs one more to have max carriers. Okay. There you go. Now, you're going to want to throw about 30 Pikmin up. Yeah, you're going to need 30 this time. I know, weird, isn't it? I never actually understood this puzzle when I first did it. Okay, that's a golden candy pop bud, by the way. You'll see what it does in just a second. Okay, let's just see if that's enough. Okay, golden candy pop bud. Well, actually, candy pop buds in general, they just transform your Pikmin into whatever type you want them to be. Okay, yeah, I think you can only do like 10 at a time or so. These actually get a major roll in Pikmin too. Just you wait. Yeah, they got that. Number two Ionium jetpack. There's only one, two more visible parts. The last two parts in this area are actually visible. Number two Ionium jet. The ads for these jets post that with exciting, excellent mileage that's easy on your family budget, this jet will keep your wife smiling and propel you to a happy home in life. I have now recovered 27 out of 30 parts. If I can just find two more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. Okay, I'm actually going to dismiss them now. I'm going to pluck all of them. I'm I may or may not end up speeding. Nah, I'm talking during it. Okay, so anyway. Yeah, I really can't wait for Pikmin 2. Come on, I know I can do this. I know I can get this part and then get the last part within the same day. Okay, let's get a quick move on. There's actually a glitch you can use to get this part, which I'll try and explain. The spotty bull bear that was right next to the slope we climbed for that last part. Wow, exactly 30. Okay, now you don't want them to fall in the water. Now this part's very annoying in the GameCube version, it's slightly easier. Actually, I think I can just drown them across, maybe. Okay, so let me try this real quick. I'm going to put my Pikmin over, blue Pikmin up there. Just because they can rescue drowning Pikmin, and I'm going to try and drown the yellows across. Come on, get over here. Yes, they all made it. Woohoo. Just barely. But they made it. Okay, so now you're going to throw them up here at that. That's the Cronus Reactor. And I fail. I fail at this. See, don't, like I keep saying, you don't want to immediately border the ledge. I think it only needs 20. Good. Good thing, too. I found my Cronus reactor. Using strange new technology, this machine is able to warp the space-time continuum and turn it into energy. I am constantly amazed at how many mysteries I locked away. Okay, so yes, you want to call all your Pikmin back. Even the ones that go idle like that. Just make them. Okay, just... Okay, now. Stay over here. Oh, whoops. I need to get the yellow Pikmin that's over there. He's wasting my time. Okay, so we're going to put the blues on it. When we turn the rest of these guys back into blues. Wow. And this should be the last pass. If I don't miss... I just need to pluck these last few. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I know I can get the last part. There's just one more part, right? I think. Let me think real quick. Yeah, just one more part. I know I can get it. It involves blues and fighting more dumplings. Yeah. Just what I need, more dumplings. Alright, anyway, let's get a move on. 
Yeah, I wonder how far the Kronos reactor is. Hopefully even these guys will even help. Oh yeah, it's just about the ship. Okay, so it's gonna move on. Okay, so yeah, the bull bear will never bother us again. Or at all. It never even bothered us. I don't think we ever had to get past it. So yeah, so let's just get the blues back to the ship. Dun 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 Yeah yeah, we just did that. This reactor changes per permutations of the space time continuum, blah. So if there's one more part in the area, right? Yeah, if one more part will increase its capabilities. Now we have to we have to do this real fast. So let's put our yellows away. Mm, I don't really need 80 blues, but okay, I'm, I'm gonna take 60. Yeah, see, it puts it puts away and takes out your flower Pikmin first. That's why I did that. Okay, so now let's hurry up and flower these guys. Let's there we go. Real quick. This is gonna be a close call. And no nectar. Okay. Okay. So let's go. To the final part of this area. The Pikmin are going to pass through this area, so you have to take care of these water dumplings first. Or at least distract them to a different location. Uh. Okay. As long as we don't attract the dumplings that are over there, we should be fine. Okay, I actually don't think those will get in our way. We just need to get over here and fight the puppy blow up. We need it to come this way as soon as it possibly can. Come on, puppy blow hog, don't fail me now. Seriously, don't fail me! Go, go, go. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Come on, we got this, we got this. This is the last ship part. I found my interstellar radio. Not only does it emit a constant SOS signal, it also broadcasts voices from space that will brighten up my moments of boredom. The dolphin will be more comfortable in quite a lonely place in the depths of the night. So basically, it generates random voices. The radio, it generates random voices, and it emits a constant SOS signal. Why would you need a constant SOS signal? How did they miss? I mean, like, honestly, how did they miss? Okay, I'm going to leave these guys over here. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle! Yes, the last ship part, we're going to make it! I think. I don't know why they're going this way. Where are they going? We're not going to make it. Are we? Eh. This is going to be a close call. Why do they have to come all the way over here? Where are they going? Wow, this is weird Pikmin AI. Chugga Conroy was right! It's gonna become a running gag in my thing. Chugga Conroy was correct. No, we made it! We actually made it. Yeah, yeah! And thank you guys for being with me this whole time. We are going to be finishing Pikmin 1 in a total of 12 days. 
Now I'm just gonna show you guys an optional boss real quick just because we have some day left. Nah, I'm not gonna risk a Pikmin. We only lost six Pikmin in the entire game. This part will send out a daily SOS signal. I have so little time remaining though that I have no option but to continue my search rather than waiting for a rescue party. I have to collect every part is a bit having to collect every part, but I get impressed with it. Uh, all parts you need. What are you talking about? That's the 29th part. There's one part left. Yes, the dolphin's capabilities have increased. Here we go. It will now look like... I don't know where those came from. It, mu it must be the repair type bolt taking effect. But as you can see, the antenna on the top is still broken, but you'll see more on that. It actually fixes in the end of day sequence if you couldn't already... You didn't see it last time. Alright, there we go. I'm going to put my blue pick one away. And we're done with this area. We are almost done with Pikmin. We have... Ugh, excuse me. One location left. Alright. Now I'm gonna see if I can go wake up the Smoky Frog this time. See if I have more luck. Actually, let's see if I can make the Wally Wogs attack each other. Yes, attack is the word I'm looking for. What? Oh, let's see this. <laughs> oh, you two in love. How did it not take off? Did you see that? Or was I hallucinating? Okay, let's see if I can wake up the egg. Okay, it's gonna hatch. Yes, that's the Smoky Prog. It's a mini boss. It's a mini boss, and you get it by basically attacking the egg. It'll first thing it does is it goes to the red onion and does a roar. Its roar can uproot any Pikmin in the ground. It's the toxic trail it leaves behind will instantly kill any Pikmin that touches it. They literally just disintegrate into it. It's kind of creepy. Yeah. It would be funny if it was part of the end of day sequence. It should be. Now you guys, I'm actually going to show you the map screen after this because it's a one-time thing. So I really want to show you guys it. If you go to the map screen once you get... Yeah, see there, it straightens out. It doesn't straighten out again. It won't straighten out again until we get the last ship part. The location has an ideal name, and Alamar, I think, mentions it in this journal entry. Eleven days since impact. At last, but a single part remains! Since I've recovered twenty-nine of the missing parts, the dolphin's power is near capacity. In the four steps below, I see a region where the final part must lie. Clearly, this is my final trial. My life support fails in nineteen days. Courage! Literally, that's the name of the location, is final trial. Look at those numbers! <laughs> oh my gosh! It, it's like perfect because you see we turn those blues into yellows and then turn them back. That's kind of funny. Okay, so I'm going to show you this. Look in the background of the map. So yes, there's the last location. Now look at that. I believe those are onions. Those are various colored onions. They come in pink, purple, cyan. Despite there being a purple, no, there's no purple onion in Pikmin 2, even though there are purple Pikmin. So yes, they come in pink, purple, cyan, green, and black. And maybe an orange. It's kind of hard to tell, but I'll see you guys next time on Day 12, where we'll take on the final trial.